returning to God, the path of repentance and restoration. Ladies and gentlemen, today I stand before you to address a topic that is close to our hearts, our relationship with God. As human beings, we are prone to drifting away from Him. It happens subtly, often without us even realizing it. We take small steps away from God, thinking it won't make a significant difference. But let me tell you, those small steps can add up, and before we know it, we find ourselves far away from the loving embrace of our Heavenly Father. But here's the good news. God is always calling us back to Him. In Amos, the Lord says, Come back to me and live. He hasn't lost track of us. He's constantly speaking to our hearts, urging us to return. And when we recognize that we have strayed, we can turn to God and ask for forgiveness. Romans 3, 23 reminds us that we have all sinned and fallen short of God's glorious standard. But here's the beautiful truth. God, in His grace, freely makes us right in His sight through Christ Jesus. Satan may use our sin to enslave us, to tell us there is no hope. But God uses our sin to enlighten us, to show us that He has already taken care of our sin on the cross. When we come to the realization that we have gone astray, like the psalmist in Psalm, we can confess all our sins to God and stop trying to hide our guilt. And what does God do? He forgives us. All our guilt is gone. It is in this act of confession and repentance that we can find restoration and reconciliation with our Heavenly Father. So, what should we do when we've fallen away from God? The answer lies in true repentance. 2 Corinthians 10 tells us that the kind of sorrow God wants us to experience leads us away from sin and results in salvation. True repentance involves choosing to forsake our sin and turn towards God. It is a conscious decision to change our ways and accept the forgiveness and grace that God freely offers. But how can we avoid backsliding in the first place? Ezekiel 37-23 reminds us that God saves us from our sinful apostasy and cleanses us. We can make it a habit to remind ourselves that we belong to God and that our lives are best lived in obedience to Him. Proverbs 3, 5 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and to seek His will in all that we do. By acknowledging God's presence and seeking His guidance in every area of our lives, we can avoid wandering off into destructive detours. We must also be vigilant and watchful. As Jesus tells us in Matthew, we must keep watch and pray so that we will not give in to temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Our attentiveness and prayer act as powerful tools to resist the invitation to sin, and we can take comfort in knowing that God is faithful. 1 Corinthians 10.13 assures us that the temptations we face are not unique to us and God will provide a way out for us to endure. But what about the impact of our backsliding on others? Matthew 18, 7 warns us of the sorrow that awaits those who tempt others to sin. Our actions have a ripple effect and we must be mindful of the influence we have on those around us. We should strive to be a positive example and not lead others astray. Finally, if we encounter someone who has backslidden, we must approach them with love and compassion. Luke 15, 7 reminds us that there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God. We can pray for them, be a listening ear, and encourage them to come back to the loving arms of our Heavenly Father, James 5 tells us that bringing a backslider back to the truth can
and save them from death and bring about the forgiveness of many sins. My friends, let us remember that our relationship with God is worth fighting for. When we realize we have strayed, let us not despair, but turn to God in confession and repentance. Let us trust in His forgiveness and grace, knowing that He is always ready to welcome us back into His loving embrace. And may we strive to avoid backsliding by trusting in the Lord, seeking His will, and remaining vigilant in prayer. May each of us be a shining light, a testimony of God's transforming grace and love. Let us inspire others to draw closer to Him and experience the abundant life that comes from walking in His ways. Thank you, and may God bless you abundantly on this journey of faith.